Welcome to McGuire's Car Crazy. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or gal, if you love cars, you're a car guy. And this is Car Crazy Central shouting the passion that 30 million of us who are car guys across America and tens of millions more around the world share in common, no matter what kind of cars we love. Join us as we focus on this emotion of being car crazy. Welcome to Car Crazy Central, ground zero for monitoring the major events and personalities of the car hobby around the world. Each week we creatively serve up a full menu of car crazy passion for you to enjoy via our car crazy television and radio shows, as well as on demand through our website, carcrazycentral.com. Our mission is pure and simple, that's right, we want to make you just a little more Peninsula Hotel stands for standards which really are in the uh, top class. And so our hopes here were to do the same, but in a very relaxed yeah. manner. There's a fabulous selection of beautifully curated cars. Everything is included, yeah. all the hosting, and it is like first class. Vaseline number three. Number three. And they all have to have a giant V12, which this one does too. We have the hand-blown glass taillights. We have a glass grill up front. It just is strange feature after strange feature. And now our host, Barry McGuire. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another very special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy. Coming today from the Monterey Peninsula, actually Carmel Valley, California. It is the Quail. The Quail Lodge is owned by Michael Gondori, owner of the Peninsula Hotels and many great properties around the world. He puts this event on every year, and it is so special. And it's kind of the event that everybody wants to go to, but very few can. We're here with our cameras, and for all you who wanted to come that couldn't, we're going to show it to you. Amazing cars, absolutely amazing cars. Right behind me, a 935, actually the K3 version of it, uh, owned by Jimmy Castle who is, you know, Castle and Cook. I mean, amazing people and cars. We're going to have a lot of fun. Come with me and let's enjoy it, okay? Come on. We want to start with the man who's behind this event, Michael Gaderi, who owns this great property, Quail Lodge, and putting on this event. Thank you, Michael. I mean, what an event you created here. Well, you're very generous in your comments, but I wasn't the one who actually was the conceiver of this event. There was an event here before. Well, there was. That's true. That's true. And it outgrew this particular venue, so that's right, the reason right. why we've started right. the event which is taking place here. But you've gone the other way. That's a big event, a wonderful event, but you decide you want to have something really special, like a boutique car show, if you will. Concord. Well, Peninsula Hotel stands for standards which really are in the uh, top class, and so our hopes here <laughs> were to do the same, but in a very relaxed yeah. manner. And the whole team, they've been so totally enthusiastic, and the event has grown. But most importantly, those of you who come here, the people, that's what it's all it about. Really is. And everything Michael does is perfect and, and over the top, and you've done it here with the show. And again, thank you, Michael. Well, for, thank you uh, very much for the interview. For the hobby here. It's such a special thing. And one of the things you've done so interestingly, you've had a cutoff of is it 3,000 people? 3,000 people, that's so, the limit. So there is, there's not that frantic thing that we have at so many events. It's, we come, everybody's relaxed, they're just enjoying it. You can enjoy the cars and the food and everything. Well, it's we're just, blessed by what you provide for us here, the sunshine, it's just something, isn't it? Something. We have a great day. That gives everyone yeah. warmth. <laughs> Thank you Thanks very again. much. you're awesome, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bob Lee is one of the great car collectors on the planet. How many times do you take a car to Pebble Beach? We started in, in 86, and we never missed a year. In 20 years. 20, 20 years. 20 years, 2006, finally. Finally, <laughs> finally, finally. 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 Yeah. You, make, you make the party uh, yeah. even best, best of show. Yeah, when uh, Ed Herman was saying, and best of show is, 
than 1931. As soon as I heard 31, I knew we had it. <laughs> You've been so close so yeah, many boy, times. Boy. And it's like they were just a collecting yeah. yes for you. Yeah, I mean, then, then, people then, wanted you to win that award. And then one of the TV uh, interviewers <laughs> said, well, how's it feel? I said, well, I don't know. I think I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you're always up there congratulating one of your buddies. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you're always the first one. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Is there any justice? Can Bob win this yeah, thing one time? Yeah, and yeah, last yeah. year it happened. And well, we, we won best of class about 10 times. Oh, yeah, I know you yeah. did that. But the top prize, the big best one, of show. The big one, the big just, one. You're just right there. It always. Is, yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, classics, antiques, but you also love Ferraris, I know. This circle of Ferraris here is so special. How our viewers understand what we're looking at here? Well, we're looking at a number of the um, 250 GT Pininfarina bodied Ferrari three liter convertibles uh -huh. made. Um, in 1957. I believe there were 36 production cars, so called okay, production okay, cars, the Series 1 cars. 250 yeah. GT yeah, there production we go. cars. Yeah. And out of that 36, we have how many here today? Like 14, I, I 15? Think, I think there are 17. 17 of them. Yeah. This is like a one of a kind, one one time forever yeah, yeah, <laughs> type of display here. It's really yeah, it probably will never happen probably again. Probably never happen yeah. again. No. And I walked up, I saw this dark, dark, almost looks black uh, car. I thought, who owns that car? They said, oh, bobbly. I said, well, I should have known. <laughs> but it's very special in its own Right. It is very special. Uh, Ferrari commissioned Pininfarina to make four prototypes, and this was the first of the four prototypes. Not enough to bring one of these 17 cars, you have two of them. <laughs> well, we, we have one of the uh, 36 production cars. Is that what it is? Yeah, and it was the New York uh, show oh car. Oh my goodness, amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I can't thank you enough for all you've done for the hobby, the great cars you have become the custodian of. Thank you, I love all you've done all through the years. Back Thanks with a lot more of our Car Crazy Friends right after this break. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy here in the Monterey Peninsula at the Quail, at the Quail Lodge in Carmel Valley. It's just such a wonderful event. You know, about the best car builder I know and about the best car owner I know are together right here. I get you both. Eric Zausner, who, who pays the bills. I mean, you have this patient and you say, just build me this amazing creation. And you got just the guy to do it, Steve Bull. Steve? You have a lot of fun doing that. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> he uh, he challenges us every day, and uh, but he gives us great opportunities to do these projects. Sure. Yeah, well, I wanted to build a 34 kind of special roadster, and I was kind of inspired by a couple of cars, including a one-off that was done by Gregory Fretzel Ford that they just found, yeah. a boat tail. Yeah, 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 it's like a 32, 33 right. boat tail. So I decided to start with a 33, 34 grill and cowl, and then we made an all-aluminum body for it. And then we've got an alligator interior. There's 20 alligators in it. And uh, it's got an Auburn dash and Auburn um, headlights and Chrysler Airflow taillights. And Tell us about the suspension. Oh my goodness, here. The suspension is all torsion bar. And what's what's interesting is the front suspension's off a uh, old Indy car, Schroeder Indy car, uh, Gordon Schroeder built in the 50s. And uh, his son Gary was uh, uh, generous enough to loan us the pattern. I, I love it because both of you are like just going for it. I mean, they just just let's let's take it as far as we can take it. Yeah, we are. You know, we always say anybody can underdo it. You know, so uh, <laughs> uh, we got to keep trying. So from the time you started to work on the car, how long did the building of the car take? Right around two years. And we, uh, uh, we had a hard time deciding what to name it. Originally, we were going to call it the Bruce Meyer Special, but then oh. we decided to call it a Zephyr. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good to be with you. Thank you always. very much. Thanks a lot. One of my best go-to guys in the entire hobby, especially for things I tell you, Winston Goodfellow. You're a writer, you're a photographer, and I mean, you're awesome, man. I mean, anything you don't know about Italian cars? You know, well, let's let's just get the record straight. I like it when someone says I'm awesome. So, okay, uh, that sounds good to me. We have talked before about the combined value of cars on on the Monterey Peninsula for all these amazing events. Let's talk about here. I mean, just just the quail. One class that I could say something on is like the the Series One Cabriolet. They're doing the 50th anniversary of the car. And if they're just put 1.5 to 2 mil a crack, you know, 20 of them puts that at 30 to 40 million dollars. Just those 20 and that's cars. just one little group of your cars. Yeah. Oh, they're absolutely stunning. What great car guy photography. Winston has an eye and, and, and works that camera about as good as anybody I know. I mean, great uh, books that you've authored focusing on certain marks and just being the quintessential 
uh, expertise book on those on those bars? The last book was on Ferrari. Um, I've got. I'm talking with David Bull Publishing, who does books that I think are art books that happen to be on cars. And so we're talking about doing some projects, so maybe you'll see something next year. I hope so. Incredible, incredible. Well, one last word for this weekend. Fantastico, <laughs> carrying the Italian theme. <laughs> there we go, fantastico. The last word cool. from which I get yeah. another my good friend. Hey, Thanks, you. bud. Thank good you, to see you. Ah, God, Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy here at the Quail in the Monterey Peninsula. Incredible event. You know, one of the most stunningly beautiful cars, Randy, on the whole place, Randy Grubb. And this is your creation in your home garage. Yes, it I mean, is. This, this is an incredible story. It really is. It is. <laughs> this is the latest offering from the Blastoline Brothers. The Blastoline Brothers are myself and my designer, Michael Leeds from Santa Cruz, California. Of course, you might have seen the Jay Leno tank car. That yeah. was Blastoline 1. Yeah. Yeah. After the show starts, the Jay arrives with his tank the car. The earthquake you know. shows the up, earthquake. and that's yeah, Jay. Yeah. So Randy created that. And now we have Blastoline. Blastoline number three. Number three. And okay. they all have to have a giant V12, which this one does too. This yeah. features a 702 cubic inch <laughs> gasoline burning V12. And it was actually produced by GMC. This is a factory is produced right? GMC no, two and a half ton truck motor. The motor produces, ready for this, 650 foot pounds of torque at 850 RPM. So this is a hot rod. If you're going to build a hot rod, why not build one that's not another 32 with the small block Chevy? Exactly. <laughs> Michael is, a, is just a great designer. He has a great breadth of knowledge of all these classic designs. This is our French curve car. You know, obviously that's the inspiration of the well, great the 30s lines. cars. At first glance, you think it is a fr early French car. Well, you know? I you thank say, you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is kind of over the top. He he really the did his job. The back. I mean, it's just like, golly. It never stops. It never stops. <laughs> it never, it's a good word for it. We have the hand-blown glass taillights oh, up in the back, and we have a glass grill up front. <laughs> it just is strange feature after strange feature. But yet, somehow or another, Michael's elegant design all played out, and the thing really flows from one end to the Built other. this in your garage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like 18 months? Uh, yeah, it took about uh, 24 months, actually, from, 24, oh, complete. from, okay. from drawing right, to from this the drawing, date. So yes. About 18 months of Yep, and I work pretty much all by myself. Uh, these are the hands that fabricated yeah. the aluminum body, hand pan what? pound that uh, whole aluminum body, man. and uh, it's oh, really great. Man, it I've really had some help. Uh, Joe Lackey was my painter, uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. the upholsterer was his mom and dad. Uh -huh. So it's all a kind of a Southern <laughs> Oregon project, and uh, it's just really fun that we get it to build really these is. things. He is Randy Grubb for Grants Pass, Oregon. Totally, <laughs> undeniably, car crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best guy in the whole property to talk about the quail and how great it is is Bruce Meyer, my buddy. He is one of Michael Godori's best friends. You're everybody's best friend. You're certainly yeah. my best friend. Yeah, and we hang out spend a lot of time. Uh, you've certainly been on Car Crazy more than anybody else. We try to fit you in somewhere every show. Well, I qualify because I am Car Crazy. <laughs> but talk about Michael and, and from the very beginnings when it was just sure, an idea. Sure, sure. Well, Michael bought this property. As you know, he owns the Peninsula Hotel chain. So when he bought Quail Lodge, at the time they had the Concorso Italiano here, which was just massive. You know, there was it's at least three times the size of right. what where you are today right. and Michael being the, the very detail-minded hospitality and host that he is said this is just way out of hand we're gonna do an event that is very personal limited there's 3,000 tickets sold and that's it and not 3,001 I can yeah. tell you because I'm staying with Michael at his home and <laughs> people are calling him and I know people some of important. your best friends names that a lot of our viewers would know say Bruce yeah. get us in they can't oh, yeah. I know you like... can get us in Bruce nobody gets <laughs> there, there are no exceptions so you so have to buy your tickets <laughs> early but the whole yeah. idea is that everything is hosted I mean from I just had a, a, a gelato and the beautiful salmon and the sushi oh. whatever you want everything How about is hosted the whole lunch that they serve here yeah. I mean is it, it opulent or what I it mean, is like First class. So you buy the ticket. Yeah. There's a fabulous selection of beautifully curated cars here today. Everything is included, yeah. all the hosting, and plenty of umbrellas, plenty of chairs. <laughs> it's just lovely. And as always, you have an appropriate car in your collection for whatever event we go to. The Corvette, wow. This well, is this is a special car, and I'm a proud American, and Briggs Cunningham is the honoree today yeah. and he entered Le Mans many many times over trying to win it and this was one of his efforts this was yeah. the first Corvette to ever run the 24 hours of Le Mans the result was 
first in class and eighth overall, which was a big thing for yeah, absolutely. America absolutely. and for Briggs Cunningham. Fun One piece. of many cars here. There's such a great tribute to Briggs Cunningham. Yeah, I mean, what a guy. He won the America's Cup. He was on the cover of Time magazine. He did everything he could to promote yeah, America. He was a marathon man. <laughs> marathon man. <laughs> he was. Well, a lot of our friends are here for the Checkered Flag 200, the support group for the Peterson Museum that you started. You're the founder, the chairman, you're well, a leader. Here. You see that? There it is. Bruce is the guy he started. Great idea. Well, Talked me into it at the very beginning. You were, I mean, you were lot, right with me of, every what, step of the way. Thank, thank you very much. Sense. But anyway, does it get any better than this? It doesn't get any better than this, and I just hope that everybody will be here next year yeah, to enjoy yeah, it with yeah, us. Yeah. As a P-38 goes overhead. Is that cool? It's <laughs> amazing. That One is a religious best. experience. <laughs> wow. It really is. It really is. I just like hanging out with you, buddy. Thank you, hey. Bruce, for all you do. The day comes to an end and the cars are driving off the field. I guess we got to end the show. I'm sorry, but it is the quail. What a wonderful event. Thank you, Michael Godori, for creating this event for all of us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing, but every car show I know is trying to build their gate. They're hoping to have more people next year. This event is topped at 3,000. We mentioned before, but it is so nice to have this relaxed atmosphere. You walk around and just enjoy. There's nothing frantic about it. I hope you enjoy as much as we did. That's all for now from the Quail Lodge in Monterey, California. How you doing? It's the Big Shrag for Car Crazy Central. We're at the NSRA's 28th Annual Street Rod Nationals North in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's go take a look. Hey. Well, folks, I am proud to be hanging out with my man, Tommy Carroll, who made the, the front page of the Kalamazoo Gazette. Tell me a little bit about this car. It's a uh, concept from Hot Rod Chassis and Cycle out of Addison, Illinois. It's a 31 Ford with a 58 Dodge Polyblock and a 1938 Plymouth front end. You definitely had the aircraft theme in mind when you were building this. Yeah, my uh, father flew uh, 1944 in a Solomon, so there's a tribute to that. Some of the men and women who flew in the war and services were kind of inspired there, and as well were traditional hot rodders. Now tell me some of the parts that you've used off of aircraft to put this car together. We have a uh, a gas gauge from a B29, a throttle body from a P47 Thunderbolt, steering wheels a Douglas 6 transporter, and the uh, hubcaps as well are the same. 3100 aluminum rivets, those are original Douglas aircraft rivets. All the interior is aluminum. It's a one-off interior. How much time did it take to build this? This is a, a two-year uh, concept, uh, roughly nine months of uh, mock-up and uh, setting it up and then another eight or nine months to actually kind of finish it. This is such a beautiful car. I can't wait to come back next year and see what you got going on. We want to know how car crazy you are. Once considered very sophisticated, dual overhead camshafts are commonplace these days. But who built the first four valve dual overhead camshaft engine. Was it A, Ferrari, B, Fiat, C, Peugeot, or D, Toyota? We'll find out right after this break, right here on Meguiar's Car Crazy. We want to know how car crazy you are. Once considered very sophisticated, dual overhead camshafts are commonplace these days. But who built the first four valve dual overhead camshaft engine? Was it A, Ferrari, B, Fiat, C, Peugeot, or D, Toyota? Fiat is credited with pioneering the first belt-driven dual overhead camshaft engine in 1912. But that version had only two valves per cylinder. The correct answer is C, Peugeot, who introduced the first 
four-valve dual overhead camshaft engine in 1913. And guess what? It won the Indy 500 that year with Jules Go driving. And if you knew this piece of Car Guy trivia, you must be car crazy. And now our host, Barry McGuire. You know, we love receiving your car crazy confessions because they give us insight into just how car crazy you are. And so many times your letters confirm a lot of the themes that we talk about here in this show. Justin Lawless writes to us from Western Washington. Hi, my name is Justin. I'm 19 years old and live in Western Washington. Ever since I was four years old, I helped my dad out working on his trucks. I knew I couldn't help much being, I weighed maybe 50 pounds at the time, but just being there, I ended up learning a lot over the years. Being a backyard mechanic now gives its advantages over those who went to school. I currently own a 2006 Scion XB, which is my pride and joy, but I did something unique to it. 90% of the Scion XBs or XAs have around 90 wheel horsepower and torque. Currently, mine is running at about 160 wheel horsepower, and soon I plan to jump that up to around the 220, 240 mark with a different engine. But what really makes it a unique ride is the fact that it's a six-speed capable of a top speed of 162 mile per hour. It came with a 30 mile per gallon city rating and a 33 to 35 highway rating. I get an average of 31 to 32 city and about 38 to 40 on the highway. Like I said, being a backyard mechanic has many advantages. If you see me, I look like a Scion XB on steroids because I am car crazy. Well, you know what, Justin? Your letter is priceless, and I can't thank you enough for sending it to us. As Yogi Berra would say, it is deja vu all over again. Without even knowing it, you are proving my point that car guys of all ages are the same the world over. If you go back 60 years, the most famous icons in hot rodding history today, really the pioneers of the car hobby, they were all backyard mechanics who broke all the rules and broke all the records, just like you, Justin. You know, you may be a next generation car guy working on a Scion XB instead of a 1940s hot rodder working on a 32 Ford, but every car guy listening to us right now can identify with your passion for knowing more about making a specific car go faster than its maker ever dreamed. Car guys have been doing that ever since cars first began, and you know what? Your comments confirm that that's not going to change. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your passion with us and for making all of us just a little bit more car crazy. And for the rest of you, I want you to know that I personally read every car crazy confession that we receive, and you know what? Every single one of them is so, so special. If you haven't sent me your story yet, why not do it this week? Send your email to confessions at carcrazycentral.com. Thanks for watching our show this week because this episode and every episode is intended to make you just a little bit more car crazy.